I was watching a show on Netflix last week and one of the characters said, if you could create any world, what would it look like? It made me think for a second. And then I realised, I know how to code. I can build my dream world. And that's what this video is going to be about. I'm going to try and create the ultimate world for me. An entire world. Creating a world is ambitious, so I turned to Wondershare's eDrawMind to organize my chaos. It's an AI-powered mind mapping tool that's honestly been a lifesaver. And they're also sponsoring this video. I've used their web tool on this channel in the past, but today we're going to use the software version because we are going to need its full power to create this world. Step 1. Brainstorm. I use eDrawMind to create a mind map just from one prompt. Okay, mild panic because this mind map gave me way more ideas than expected. Do I need a world or an entire universe? But either ways, this is super helpful. I'm always amazed by the quality of these AI mind maps, but maybe I should give myself a time limit of a few hours just so I don't spend the entire week creating this world, which is very much a possibility. So let's try again generating the plan with another prompt. I'm going to tell the AI that I want to build something simple and what it came up with is totally perfect from defining the vision to planning the features. This is exactly what I wanted. I'm now going to dive into each branch of the mind map and decide on what is going to exist in this world. I want my world to be realistic. The environment should be nature, beautiful mountains, pine trees, just everything pretty. As I stay outside in Winter Berlin, that sounds like such a dream. Okay, this is making me very excited to build this world. Time to pick our tools as engineers. I've never worked with Unity before, but how hard could it be? Hey, it's me from the future. Spoiler alert, it was not easy. And Unity had me questioning my life choices in like 10 minutes. Here's how it went. So let's use Unity. Although this is a silly project, I'm going to try and still create a basic plan of the project timeline. So at least I know where to start. My type A personality doesn't leave with silly projects either. So this is what I came up with yesterday. I have no idea how feasible this is to get done in two hours, but we shall find out. I started to install Unity, which is taking so long. So in the meanwhile, I'm going to continue brainstorming my world even more. I love vision boards, so I'm going to create a vision board just for my ultimate world. I got some pictures from Pinterest and I also generated some using the AI painting tool on eDrawMind. I wish I could create so many other things, but there's just not enough time. So let's start creating this world. I'm going to start by following this YouTube tutorial which claims to create the world in 5 minutes. But from experience, I predict that this is probably going to take me anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour. I also have a timer running in the background throughout this video just so I don't get distracted and stay focused. And now we can start. The tutorial doesn't touch actual code at all and just uses the Unity interface so I'm just going to do that as well. Unity. The ultimate test of patience. It took me 30 minutes to figure out how to move a plane. Who knew grass could feel like such a win? But it seems like I have a basic grass and terrain done. So that's amazing. I'm going to keep referring to the checklist we came up with on eDrawMind so I can stay on track. Next, building blue skies. So I worked on the world yesterday and this is what we have so far. A basic working world with pine trees, grass, blue skies and it's not bad looking at all. I realized I need a cheat sheet on Unity because there's a lot of things I don't know. So I found this PDF from Purdue University that seems to have everything I need to know. But it's a lot of stuff so I'm going to dump this into eDrawMind's file analysis function and that's going to generate a mind map cheat sheet for me. From one amazing invention to the other, today I'm going to move on to building a body of water. 
This was my vision board, so I would ideally like a river flowing throughout the world. Okay, never mind. Building a river was humbling. After an hour, I ended up with something that looks more like a pond, but hey, what is water? Next up, the bridge. Oh boy. I needed some inspiration on the bridge and how it could fit into our world, so I used eDrawMind's AI drawing to help with that again. And it came up with this curved bridge that looks really pretty, so I tried to find something similar in the Unity assets. I ended up finding this rope bridge. It's perfect and exactly what I wanted. But me underestimating complexities seems to be the recurring pattern of this video. Because once again, what I thought would be a simple bridge is now so complicated. First, the bridge was too high. My solution? Building awkward stairs. Then I thought, maybe my character could just fly. Nope. Turns out, nothing about my bridge wanted to work. So at this point, it's less a bridge, more metaphor of my struggles. Seems like we're gonna have to get over being able to build this bridge. This is so sad. My world is really not coming together, pun intended. So in this last leg of my world, I do want to try to add some mountains, some pretty flowers, and make things look beautiful. I tried adding more features like snow-capped mountains, but they didn't turn out the way I expected. So I just have to be happy with these blue mountains for now. I'm gonna have to settle for something simple because I simply don't have time anymore. Okay, before I show you the final world, let's check out eDrawMind again and see how far we have come. We got most of the tasks done, so that's not bad at all, but I don't think my world looks very similar to what I had on the vision board. But nevertheless, thank you so much eDrawMind for sponsoring this video and helping me plan out this world. Check out the multiple useful AI features from auto mind maps to expanding your mind maps with more information automatically, file analysis, image processing, and even mind map to PowerPoint conversions. eDrawMind can help make planning and organizing effortless. So check them out in the link in the description box below. And here is my world. Flowers, blue skies, a pond, a bridge graveyard, which was supposed to be a joke to my failed attempts at building a bridge. It's far from perfect, but it's a start and building this world in one day has taught me so much about world buildings and patience. So far from perfect, but what would you add to this world? Let me know and maybe we'll make it happen in a part two. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.